Anthony Joshua may have to fight new mandatory Q Brad Pulev in 2019. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, we got some very interesting news. Yesterday, Hugh, Huey Fury, cousin to Tyson Fury, who's in a big fight with Deontay Wilder, fought against Kubrat Pulev. It was an eliminator. And now they're saying the winner of that fight, which we know to be Kubrat Pulev, he pulled out with the victory. Um, pulled out. That's funny because he actually pulled out of a fight. And I seen this article. It says Sky Sports on their verified page. AJ's new challenger. Q Brad Pulev beat Huey Fury to become Anthony Joshua's IBF mandatory challenger. Dot, dot, dot. So naturally, I click on it to see what the article was about. And as I suspected, this whole article is about Joshua fighting Huey Fury and Huey Fury, or excuse me, fighting q Brad Pulev and q Brad Pulev beating Huey Fury. So now in 2019, basically Joshua has two mandatories. You know, one is likely Dillian White and then the other is q Brad Pulev who beat Huey Fury. My thoughts, this is horrible. You know, the world wants Joshua to fight Deontay Wilder. Wilder has a tough test against Tyson Fury. So if Tyson Fury beats Wilder or if Wilder beats Fury, that is the guy that people want to see Joshua face. End of story. It's for everything, all the marbles. You know, I'm not even going to spend as much time on some of these videos when there's a lot of other pressing things. But if Joshua fights all these mandatories i understand the nature of a mandatory i understand what that means but there's something has to be up it is really fishy that joshua out of all champions in boxing keeps having these mandatories so this is the ibf mandatory and they're saying that dillian white is likely to become or will be the wba mandatory dillian white might fight chisora in a second fight you know how's joshua because he has so many belts how does he all of a sudden have these this many mandatories that he has to fight like it doesn't even make sense at this point other people have belts and they're not going through this you know and sometimes you do what's right mikey garcia has the ibf title he might lose it if he fights errol spence jr by not fighting Richard Comey. But hey, for the big fight, the big events, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And, you know, if anything, it hurts these sanctioning bodies. A lot of these fighters act like they're at the mercy. You're the product. You're the fighter. You know, the, you, you help define the belt. The belt doesn't just help define you. It's a two-way street. You know, the IBF or WBA, they should want to be included in a big undisputed fight. So, you know, they should be able to make the accommodations for a unification. You know, that, that just goes without saying. That's a big fight. How would a unification take a backseat to q Brat Pulev? You know, so even if they wanted to strip you, they're, they're making themselves look bad because they're getting in the way of a fighter becoming undisputed with a belt he has to strip them when you're trying to fight an even greater competition in a unification. So I don't believe that they would step in the way. You know, so I still think that the winner of Wilder Fury should fight against Anthony Joshua because they will have a WBC strap and it will be for undisputed. Joshua has every other belt besides that. I have little to no interest in seeing Joshua versus q Brad Pulev. They could have fought already, but q Brad Pulev pulled out of the fight like two weeks ahead of time and they subbed in Carlos Tackham and then Joshua beat him but he didn't look great and then he got it like kind of like a mercy premature stoppage ish you know needless to say it looked like he was on his way to win the fight but it just wasn't that great of a performance and i watched some of the q brat pull of huey fury fight and i wasn't really impressed you know huey fury you know he didn't look sensational and neither did q brat pull of to the point where the joshua fight 
Joshua's the A-side, so it's not like he's going to go to Bill Gary or something to fight Q. Brad Pulev. Because he wasn't, when they were scheduled to fight the first time, they were fighting in Cardiff, Wales. So, you know, this is a bad look if Joshua ends up fighting these mandatories. Like I said, I understand the, the definition, by definition, what mandatory means. But there's no way you could tell me all these mandatories trump an, a unification. Besides, how is it that... Joshua has all these mandatories like let's say WBA mandatory is Dillian White you just fought Alexander Povetkin I thought that was for the WBA you know so how can you have how can they call you don't you have like a year in between you know how how is it that you fight in April or fight some other time next year and then you have to keep fighting mandatories that's not how it should work like Wilder he took care of his mandatory in November and you notice the WBC left him alone he was able to fight Luis Ortiz he's able to fight Tyson Fury no issue you know guys like Keith Thurman he has a WBA title and guess what Keith Thurman ain't fought no WBA mandatory in two three years so how is it just Joshua that has all these IBF and WBA and IBO mandatory and all these people that he got to fight you know, it sounds fishy, doesn't make sense, and a unification should trump all of that. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know if you want to see new challenger like Sky Sports saying uh, Huey Fury um, lost to Kubrat Pulev. Again, it, watch the fight on YouTube if it's there. Daily motion or whatnot. It just it wasn't an exciting fight, you know. And for DAZN, they, they as a new platform, they're going to need the top-notch fights. They're going to have to try to get joshua versus it because listen everyone keeps saying DAZN has the two biggest stars canelo and aj that's fact but there's going to be other stars that surpass them if they're putting on bigger fights or they're going to be other networks that surpass them or you know continue to do what they've been doing like showtime and espn if they put on subpar fights and as far as aj you guys leave me a comment if you would rather watch q brad pull live Re rescheduled basically because they were already supposed to fight and he pulled out and he sounded like he was ducking joshua let's be real you know it sounded like he didn't even want no smoke with joshua that's why it seemed like he pulled out more so than an injury so the only thing he's done is a couple failed purse bids with dillian white and Jer uh, jerrell miller and then you fought huey fury who already lost to to what's the name joseph parker you, you know and i don't think huey fury was the man to beat in the division you know wilder's fighting his cousin who has done more is perceived as as the better fury so now he's going to get a joshua fight over a unification you know that i don't see how the zone i don't see how that helps the platform you know if if you put if joshua's calendar even being the biggest star in boxing him and canelo you, they still got to make the right fights, you know, because Joshua and Dillian White in April and then Joshua and Q. Brad Pulev in November or something. It doesn't sound that appetizing. You know, it doesn't sound that meaningful. Joshua already knocked out Dillian White and then Q. Brad Pulev, they already had the opportunity to fight and then Pulev pulled out, you know. So now that he's a mandatory again, that's cool, but it seems mighty fishy that it seems that AJ has all these mandatories, you know when there's a unification out there that everyone wants to see make sure you smash the like button as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing